Bento-san. I'm the presenter of this Vehicle Bento cooking show. Brought to you by Yamaha Motors. Today's theme is off-road racing. This is how we hope today's bento box is going to turn out. We're using seasonal ingredients called kuri, or Japanese chestnuts. They're commonly sold at grocery stores here, but you can find them easily in village forests. They have hard shells, so be careful not to cut your fingers when you peel them. They'll dye your fingers brown easily, too. You can use a special tool to peel them. While Chef is working, let me talk about some thorny things. Thorns are called toge in Japanese, and when things have many thorns, we call them toge toge. Better not make them angry. Now Chef's done with peeling. Today we're going to make kuri gohan using washed rice, kuri, and sake. For kuri gohan, we use seaweed and a light dashi broth. While the rice is cooking, let's move on to the stuffed bitter melon or goya. This is such a cool looking vegetable. Now let's cut it like Chef does and hollow it out with a spoon. <laughs> I want to play with it now. In Japanese, we call rolling something big goro goro. Goro goro also means lying around and doing nothing, you know, being lazy. We also use goro goro to describe the sound of distant thunder. Watch out for a storm when you hear goro goro in the sky. Make sure you bring your laundry inside. Back to work. Here we go. Now we're stuffing the goya with ground pork with chopped vegetables and salt and pepper. Pork goes well with goya, but you can use different meat or even tofu. An important trick here is to stuff them with as much meat as possible because the meat will shrink when you fry them. Pour in a little sake and using a lid made of aluminum foil to cook them well, fry until they turn brown and they're ready. Pour in some ready-made sauce such as sukiyaki sauce. We have so many toppings today. Let me just lay them out and tell you what they are so we don't run out of time. The Japanese radish and red bell pepper are pickled in sweet vinegar, just like last time. We're using a kind of Japanese taro potato again, black sesame seeds, canned mackerel flakes, seaweed tsukudani, another kind of seaweed, shredded fried egg and smoked fish. Today we're using Pacific Sari, but sometimes we use a huge fish that we call Tachiuo. In Japanese, the cutlass fish is known as Tachiuo and is written with Chinese characters meaning big saber fish. It sure looks like a saber. Saber. Ah, I can't help playing with it. I can just imagine the music starting. each other with fresh cutlass fish. Yeah, the fresher the better. You know, either you're eating or you're fighting. <laughs> okay, better stop or Chef is going to get mad at me. Time to put it all together. Kuri gohan on the bottom. Move the kuri to the bottom part. Add the stuffed goya for the tires. Red pepper and the fish for the seat. Seaweed tsukudani for the body, a little pickled radish, and salted seaweed for the face. Shredded eggs for the ground. Wow, this bento is really complicated. Chef is complaining that his back hurts from crouching to put it all together. Ta-da! This bento was difficult to make, seriously. I'm going wild today. Oh my! This is great! The kuri is slightly sweet and tastes delicious. The smoked fish and stuffed goya would be so good with beer. But I better wait until the race is over. The motif of today's bento is the YFZ450. ATV buggies are fitted with special low pressure tires that mean they can go almost anywhere. The YFZ450 is a high-performance sports model based on a commercially available motocross engine. The YFZ450 is on display at Yamaha Communication Plaza, so if you want to see the real thing, come visit us!
Also, for today's recipe and more information about Vehicle Bento's show, visit our website. See you again soon!